So, so these are uh, battery uh, management system, part of the cards that will go into uh, and tap into the six individual cells. So these actually slide right in here. We've got uh, cables and everything that they plug into. Uh, just plugs into here. And then this sets like that. And then we've got, we'll build a wiring harness from this. It'll come in the outside plug right in there, this will go directly into the battery management system. So each each module will have one of these managing all of, all of the batteries. They'll all be connected through the single uh, battery management system. Hey Dan, what is this battery box right here? What does this one weigh? Uh, well, these are, uh, I believe, 58 pounds for each module. So it's 116, 116, 116. So we're well over 350 pounds of weight. And you've probably got another, I don't know, 25 pounds in steel right now, but we can lighten that if we do it with aluminum. Awesome. So, so Dan, how, with a Tesla motor, how many batteries do you have to have and why do you have to have a certain number of batteries with a Tesla motor versus like a, a hyper nine uh well it it is based on how many volts that you're going after and the amperage uh for uh for that particular motor that you're trying to build uh the, the motor that we're using the tesla motor uh has a recommendation between 14 and 16 battery modules uh the the 16 that we're going to use will generate 355 volts uh, that will give it uh, more than enough horsepower to, uh, uh, to go fast. Uh, it also give it a distance of about 200 to 250 miles an hour, depending upon how you drive it. Um, other batteries, other lithium ion batteries, you can stack up the batteries the same way. You can get to the same uh, voltage that you need. You could create enough for 350 volts, um, but you've got different amperages that you're working with and so you just you can use them you just need to match them up to where they fit uh, and so we're, if we're using a tesla uh, motor having what tesla you guys talking batteries, about <laughs> having the tesla batteries just makes a nice fit and again it removes some of the engineering from us and that was pat he's star for attention <laughs> <laughs> thanks dan So Dan, how are Tesla batteries different than like regular EV batteries? Uh, well, the coolant uh, in a lot of the, if you use just your regular lithium ion batteries, you build a battery box and you need to circulate something through it, air or some kind of liquid uh, to keep them cool. As, as they uh, transfer the electricity, they generate heat. So you gotta have something to keep them cool. Uh, the Teslas uh, with with the ports here, uh, the coolant is, system is all built in. It's simply a ribbon that goes down the rows uh, and works its way across the other side of the, of the battery pack. Uh, so it actually, by using the Tesla batteries, we, we avoid having to engineer another coolant system uh, for how the batteries are stored and managed within a different battery box. plumbing side of it, uh, we had played around with a couple of different versions and this is like version one uh, when we decided to go with, uh, instead of having uh, six of the manifolds, say one on the bottom and one on the top and then running the two, we'll have one over here and one over here. So we'll have three two port manifolds on the bottom and three two port manifolds on the top. And then we'll use uh, regular hose that will come out of the manifold and go right into here. And then when we come out, we'll do it just the opposite up here. And then this will actually go out uh, and uh, into the car uh, and into the reservoir and the radiator to keep the coolant cool and cool it back down and then recirculate it again. And right now we're planning to have a single pump that will go to all three battery packs, as well as a pump that will go to the, uh, the motor and for coolant.